fair, you see? Now here's a sight for sore eyes. Good morning, sunshine. How are we feeling? I don't know, Captain. Oh, do you know? The unit appears disoriented. Yeah, time traveling 400 years into the future will do that to you. Are you certain he's fully functional? Go on, Jack. Tell her you're all right. I think so. A little confused. I don't doubt it. You've been out of commission ever since our little time jump on the Astraea. Maybe we should run through his calibration program. I just spent the past three months patching him up. You think I made a mistake? Well, you're only human. Well, how about we ask him? What do you think, Jack? You want to run your calibration program? That won't be necessary. Sorry, Juno. He's not interested. An android willing to blatantly disregard protocol. I wonder where he learned that. It is a mystery. Well, go on then. It's time we got him out of there. I'm not sure I'm comfortable letting an untested android loose in the habitat. Forgive me, but... Who are you? My name is Juno, a multifunctional, fully transient artificial intelligence. I have been assigned as your caretaker. That's one word for it. Captain, please, I... What was that? Just a minor fluctuation in the power grid. Not to worry. That's the fourth time just this morning. I assure you, Captain, it's nothing to be concerned about. I'll be right back. And there she goes. Come on, let's get you out of that contraption. There we are. Come on out. Try and take it slow. You've been offline for nearly four months. How does that feel? I'm... a little stiff. You may have left out a part... or two. Wait, really? Can you tell me which ones? I'll try and... Hold on. You're just messing with me, aren't you? I am, yes. Well... I'm glad your sense of humor's still intact. Okay, so... physically, you seem to be in order. But I know you've probably got a few questions. I could do with some catching up, yes. You bet. Ask me whatever you like. Or, if you'd rather, I can give you a quick tour of our new home. Whatever you want to do. I think we should proceed with the tour. Sure, right this way. Sometimes it feels like this place is just a hair's breadth from falling to pieces. Hmm. That usually works. Where exactly are we? We're on a space station orbiting Saturn. That sounds familiar. Well, not our old station, obviously. After we made our jump to the future, we were picked up off the Astraea and brought here and placed in isolation. Isolation? Juno says it's standard procedure. <laughs> As if there is such a thing for time travel. Ah, there we go. Honestly, I wish I knew more about this place. But Juno's not exactly been forthcoming with the details. Hey, maybe now that I've got you back, we can work on getting some answers. And here we have... The luxury suite. It's a far cry from my old room on the Kronos, but I think I've managed to spruce it up a bit. What do you think? You appear to be settling in well enough. Not much choice, really. I mean, it's not as though we can just hop a charter back to the 22nd century. 
Juno's let me co-opt a few cargo drones to dig through what's left of the Kronos. The Kronos too is still out there. I mean, I can't be sure, but yeah. I think there are at least one or two sections that managed to stay in orbit after all these years. Plus there was quite a bit of debris that got pulled into the future with us. And it's a good thing too. Otherwise I'd never have found all the parts I needed to fix you. What happened to me? Truth be told, I'm not sure. We were on the Astraea, still trying to wrap our heads around the fact we'd just, you know, time traveled, when you started crashing, one system at a time. I, I barely managed to save your core memory. Luckily, kept you alive long enough for me to work out how to fix you. Thank you, Liv. Please. You saved my life how many times? The very least I could do was return the favor. Oh, moving on, are we? The common room's just through here. I thought you'd like to know. We have another cargo drone inbound. How long? A few minutes. Maybe more. Ah, oh, perfect. So we have some time then. If you'd like, Jack, go on and have a look around. If there's anything more you'd like to know, just ask. I'm here. As a matter of fact, I did. So we won't have any more problems then? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Brilliant. Do I have something on my face? Do we have an update on the drone? I'm sure it won't be much longer. Actually, since we're here, there's something I want to show you. Do you remember when the Astraea first arrived and I thought it was an alien ship? But it wasn't. It was a human ship from the future. This future. Right, but here's the thing. Look at this AI core from the Astraea. I've been on this station for a while and I can find nothing. Not a single piece of tech compatible with this core. Almost as if it doesn't belong here. That is odd. That's far from the only mystery I'm trying to suss out at the moment. And since we know Juno is not going to be of any help... I wish I could assist you, Captain, but I'm afraid my directives forbid me from doing so. See what I mean? So, it's up to us to go digging round for answers on our own. And here is where I'd like to start. A hollow table. Much like the one we had back home on the Kronos, apart from one small difference. Which is? It doesn't work. The display emitter's shot. If we can replace the emitter, get this thing working, we might be able to access the facility's mainframe. I assume you've already checked for a spare emitter? More than a few times. No luck. Not to worry, I've got a friend looking out for a replacement. A friend? He'll be along shortly with one of the cargo drones. Captain Rhodes, speaking of the cargo drone... Is it on approach? It is, yes. We'll need you to open the outer door, so the cargo drone can dock with the ham. Jack? Would you mind terribly? Not at all. Splendid.
The controls are up here. Outer door opening. Thanks. I'm heading up. Look. There's the Astraea. Well, what's left of it, anyway? What happened to the four section? Must have broken off when we made the jump. Stayed in the past. <sighs> Don't suppose we'll ever manage to make it back. Ah, here comes our little friend now. Look familiar? That looks like the CubeSat I extracted from our old comms network. P09-CRM. I think you mean... Popcorn. It's about time. I was starting to think you'd been lost. You call him... Popcorn. Well, it's certainly better than P09-CRN. Don't you think, Echo One? Fair point. So, did you find an emitter? And it's going to work this time? Close enough. All right, Jack, let's start pulling in the salvage. Where do you need me? There's a delivery chute along the wall to my left. It looks like a big tube sticking out of the wall. Head over there, would you? On my way. You scan and identify it. Understood. Isn't this one of your old toy dinosaurs from the Kronos 2? You're right. That's Adam. Remarkable how many of those toy dinos survived. Would you like to keep it? Your call. I mean, we don't need it, but I suppose it could be nice to post it up on one of the consoles or something. I suppose there's no harm in keeping it. Not at all. He jumped 400 years. Same as us. We time travelers have to stick together. One of my upper extremities. Or, more accurately, what's left of it. See? There you go, you found one. Now just repeat that a few hundred more times and you'll start to get an idea of what it took to patch you up. You're lucky the Kronos had so many backup shots. There's certainly nothing wrong with a little redundancy. You know, I think I've heard that before. What should I do with this? Whatever you like. It's your hand, after all. We may as well keep it. Perhaps it might prove useful. Don't you mean it might come in handy? Perhaps you've been in isolation a little too long. No argument there. <sighs> Let's just move on, shall we? Is this the emitter? Give it a scan and I'll confirm. 
That's it, Jack. Let's hope this one works. Shall I run decontamination? Yes, please. Nice work, Popcorn. All right. Now we're off to the races. Let's get that emitter down to the hollow table. About time we got some answers. I'll meet you down there. On my way. Emitter installed. I'll squeeze underneath and reset the circuit. Right, just give me a tick. Hmm, how's that? See anything up there? I'm seeing an image, but it's glitching. All right, give me a moment. Bollocks. Okay, if I'm reading these schematics right, the only way we're going to sort this out is by doing a complete master reset. As you might expect, there's a number of steps involved. I'm going to need your help here. Okay, you should be seeing a keypad up there. In order to start the reset process, you'll need a specific command code. Try 0915. Stand by. Confirmed. Code accepted. The system is requesting I use a slider to confirm. It is, however, locked. All right, I can unlock it, but this step requires a bit of coordination. I'll need to disconnect the circuit at the same time you confirm the reset. On the count of three? Yes, on three. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll unlock it. One, two, three. That was too late. Three, not after. Uh, so... How'd that work out? I'm detecting an increased amount of hydrocarbon particles in our vicinity. Is... something burning? Oh, shit. Shit! Ow, that's hot! Okay, so we're gonna need another power coupling. Should be a replacement kicking around here somewhere. Think you could track it down for me? Any idea where to start? I'm sure there's a spare power coupling hanging around close by. You know where it is. Well, go on then. I'm on it. Here you are. Thanks, Jack. Just give me a sec. There. Power coupling installed. Give me some good news. Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid it's a lost cause. Hold on. No, it isn't. It worked. More or less. More or less? The image is somewhat... Distorted. Well, that won't do. Hang on. How's that? Better? Yes, that rectified it. Chiron Station Network Access Client. Habitat Alpha online. Mainframe connection established. Synchronizing control devices. Liv, you're beeping. 
Personal user interface synchronized. Well, that's helpful. All right, let's see what we can dig up. Here we are, Habitat A. Those icons. That must be us. I was right. We're the only ones here. Yes, well, this has all been terribly enlightening. Shall we move on? Okay, so there's no one else in the hab. But what about the rest of the station? This is everything. Affirmative. This image represents all of Chiron Station. Right, let's see who else is on board. Jack, you mind taking a look at the map while I keep searching on here? Of course. I've got some questions that need answering. We are not receiving any signal from the other habitat. That's not a good sign. If there was anyone left, the other habitat would be where I'd expect to find them. The station's generator is deserted as well. You see that readout? Running a little hot, wouldn't you say? Indeed. That would explain the power fluctuations we've been experiencing. Pretty good bet. Every branch of the station connects to this structure here, the transit hub. Still no signs of any crew, or anyone at all, really. Not showing any occupants in the research wing, either. This part of the facility appears to be under construction. You think there'd be someone around, then? No reading. That's odd. There's no one. The station's deserted. According to this, we're alone. Juno, what the hell? Where's the crew? Technically, I never said there was a crew on this station. So we're alone here? I didn't say that either. Forget it. I'm not going round in circles with you again. There's got to be something else. Captain Rose. Juno, unless you're about to explain to me exactly what the hell is going on, I would keep quiet. Hang on. I think I might have hit upon something here. Looks like a priority message on a loop. Priority alert. Containment protocols breached. Multiple branch sectors compromised. General evacuation order has been issued. Oh dear. Evacuation order? Proceed immediately to your designated lifeboats. Message will repeat in one minute. All right, Juno. Start talking. Captain Rhodes, I assure you, there is no need for concern. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? What do you mean, uh-oh? I think we need to evacuate. What was that? That was an electrical malfunction. You mean one of those electrical malfunctions you told us not to worry about? No. Okay, yes, but this is different. Different how? That last energy spike overloaded one of our substations. 
The Hab's power grid is collapsing. How do we stop it? We can't. At least not from here. So we're just supposed to sit here and do nothing? Juno. All right, listen carefully. I may only have a few moments before we lose contact. Jack, I'm unlocking your reactive cutter. There's an emergency release on the door leading out of here. You can use your cutter to gain access. You still have some time before the HAP becomes unsafe. Make your way to the terminal. There should be a tram there that will take you to- Juno? Juno, acknowledge. We've lost contact. You know, I always thought I'd enjoy this moment a bit more. Perhaps we should- Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Still a lot of questions that need answering, and sticking around here is not going to help us. Plus life support is failing. Uh, yeah, plus that. This must be the emergency release here. Behind this panel on the door. I'll take a look. I should be able to cut through the bolts that secure the panel. Fire it up. Give it a quick test. One, two, three, four. Mind giving it a go at that release handle? Nice, that did it. Here, help me put it open. You take that side. Jack, hold on. Before we go out there, Listen, that shell you're in now, that's the only one of you there is. If something happens to you out there, if you get shut down, that's it. You're gone. What about you? Without an EVA suit, you're considerably more vulnerable than I am. Sure, but I'm used to it. It's not really something you've ever had to think about before. You'll be fine. Just try and remember what I said, okay? All right, Liv. Well, here we go. At least emergency lighting still seems to be active. still up in this area. I doubt that will last. We should keep moving. Sign above the door says, to tram. That's where we're headed. Whoever built this place... Initializing scan. Initializing continue. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, that did just probably shave a couple of years off my lifespan, but... Let's hope not. What the hell was that? Most likely some form of security measure. Well, it must not work too well if we're tripping it on the way out. It doesn't appear to be working at all anymore. Door sealed. We must have triggered some kind of lockdown procedure. Not seeing any sort of emergency release or access panel. 